In this video, we're going to look at both the purposes and procedures for extracting DNA from living things. For humans, the DNA extraction is very important because when we extract DNA from human tissue, we can do several things with it, including genetic testing of infants and adults for potential genetic disorders. It also has great use in the forensic scientists um, because you can identify the remains of a dead body or you can even um, extract DNA from bodily fluids found at a crime scene and then in doing that discover the suspects and what happened at the crime scene itself. In our activity we didn't use human cells we used the cells of strawberries. Now why use strawberries in this parrot? And the reason we did that is because strawberries are pretty unique and that they have eight sets of chromosomes. So that's a lot of DNA. Now there's a super very special word for eight sets of chromosomes because that's kind of long and it's called octoploid. So octo means eight just like an octagon has eight sides or an octopus has eight legs. Um, strawberries have eight sets of chromosomes, right? They get four from their maternal parent and four from their paternal parent. Humans, of course, have much less than that. We only have two sets of chromosomes. We get one set from our mom in her egg and one set from our dad in his sperm. And there's a special name for that as well. Two sets of chromosomes. We are called diploid, sometimes pronounced diploid. So di means two. Octo means eight, and ploid lets us know we're talking about sets of chromosomes. So that's why we're going to use strawberries. Before we can get to the DNA in strawberries, we have to break down some barriers. All right, and some of these barriers, if you remember your basic plant cell structure, we're going to have to break through the cell wall made of cellulose. Then we're going to have to break through both the cell membrane and the nuclear membrane that are both made of lipids in order to get to the DNA inside. Now how are we going to do that? You did it in your experiment, but we're going to look at the exact reasons for each step. Okay, so at the very beginning, right, we put the berry in the bag and mashed it with our hands. The goal of this was to break down that cell wall. So we got through our first barrier. Then we added the extraction buffer, right, which was just water and dish soap and salt. And all those ingredients have a very special purpose. So the soap, dish soap, right, it prides itself on cutting grease and breaking down grease. Well, grease is a lipid, just like the lipids that make up the membranes of our cells and of the nucleus. So the soap's job was to break down the membranes of the cell and the nucleus. Next was the salt. DNA in the nucleus is actually wrapped around a whole bunch of proteins, but we need it to get loose from those proteins and loose from the other cell junk, all right, so that we can pull out just the DNA, right? So salt, when we add that, it's actually going to remove the DNA from those proteins that it's wound around and separate it from other parts of the cell. Now, after we filtered that fluid, we added 5 milliliters of ethanol. And when we added 5 milliliters of ethanol, the DNA rose up from the strawberry solution and was suspended in that ethanol layer. And that is because, so that happens because, DNA is soluble in water, so that's why we can't see it in the strawberry solution. It's dissolved, it's soluble, it's dissolved in water. But in ethanol, it's insoluble. So it can't be dissolved. It actually kind of pulls away and separates and is its own special thing. So, um, so that's why when we add the ethanol, the DNA rises to the top and we're able to pull it out of that strawberry solution. So to put that in a diagram, just to remind us, we had our DNA that was dissolved in the soluble strawberry solution. Then we added the ethanol layer to it and the DNA rose to the top because DNA is insoluble in ethanol. 
Then we used our stick and we wound the long DNA strands around the stick and pulled it out and it was covered in DNA. Well done.